We've seen how we can add a trigger into the workbook sheet to carry out some actions when a worksheet is activated. Or we can also add in a trigger to individual worksheets to trigger a set of code when that particular worksheet is activated or deactivated, as in leaving. So if we take the worksheet activate example working file and move to the Visual Basic Editor, we know that each sheet has its own code sheet, so I could pick on Guy Sample Sheet, for example. And in here, so this is a worksheet trigger, so we choose a worksheet from the top left hand drop down. And then in the right trigger we're looking for is Activate. So we can delete the default one that's been given to us. So when this particular worksheet is activated, so this is only going to apply to the guy's sample sheet, not to the workbook as a whole looking at active sheets. So this is quite useful when you want something to occur for an individual sheet, but not for every sheet in the workbook. And in this case, we could simply put out a message. This is, and then let's concatenate onto that message. The current sheet's names, active sheet dot name. And as well as that, now that we're moving on, let's select the second cell. So range B1 and put the value in there of today's date and then move whoever's entered the sheet into A2, ready to start using the file. So it's range A2 dot activate. So we're firstly going to put a little message box out. Then we're going to place today's date in B1, and then we're going to select A2. So we go back to Excel. The minute this sheet becomes the active sheet, so I'll need to click away and then come back to it. We get this is Guy sample sheet. So that's the name of the sheet. OK. Put today's date in B1 and then moves us down to A2, ready to start entering some data. So this is individual sheet specific. If I go to Mike data, I get nothing. I've not added the workbook trigger for active worksheet. I've added a worksheet trigger. There we are fired it again. So that's in the Visual Basic, in the code sheet for the particular sheet you want to add this to. And we've chosen it from the drop down, but effectively it's worksheet underscore activate. And then we can carry out what we want to carry out. Now the reverse of that is when you leave the sheet, that's worksheet deactivate. And we can use that to carry out again a series of actions. But in our case, we'll put a nice message out that says thank you. Perhaps come again soon. So if we go back to Excel, we leave the sheet and we get a thank you. We go into the sheet, we get a this is today's date and move us into A2. But every time we leave, regardless of where we go, we get the thank you. So that's the worksheet activate and the worksheet deactivate. Useful for specific actions on specific worksheets. If you need the deactivation or the activation of it, of every worksheet to effectively fire the same commands, then we use the previous trigger, which goes in the workbook sheet. This is just for individual worksheets where you want to add in different commands depending on what you're trying to achieve.